Alright, so let's say you just got your new high refresh gaming monitor. Um or just a monitor in general, and you want to set it up with your laptop. So a bunch of people have been commenting, how do I use a monitor, high refresh rate, how do I get high refresh rate? Like Trix, by the way, he has a Nitro 5, um, and he bought a high refresh rate monitor and set it back because it wasn't working, because he, he capped him at 30 FPS or something, I don't remember exactly. And a bunch of people are saying they get video errors and stuff, so... What you want to do, you want to unbox, plug in your higher pressure monitor, get everything all set up. Um, I'm not going to do a walkthrough of that, because I don't have footage of it, I already have mine set up. And, um, yeah, so I have OBS open right now, let me open up settings really quick. So if we go to my screen, let me make sure I'm in system so I don't leak my email address. And I actually need to turn my camera on too, there we go. So let's say you just got your new monitor and you're trying to set it up. So you're going to want to click on identify. Uh, I don't know if you guys can see this. You guys can, yeah. There's a two here. So this one is popping up on my other screen, which is my laptop screen, which is to my left. There's a one on there and there's a two on here. Meaning that this right here is my laptop screen and this is my monitor screen. So I can move my stuff back and forth, move windows around and stuff out there so let's say you have your monitor on the right or your laptop on the right i used to have my laptop on the right so i had to set it up like this and make sure to click apply and now if i run my cursor to the left of my screen it does not go through to my laptop screen i have to run my mouse to the right of my screen then it goes through to my laptop screen and then i can pull it over from this side so you're going to want display 1 to be on whatever side um, of your of display 2, because display 2 is going to be your external monitor. You want display 1 to be on whatever side of display 2 as it is in real life. Now, the second thing you're going to want to do, you're going to want to click on display 2, and you're going to want to change brightness for the built-in display. Oh, that's for my laptop screen. You're going to want to click on make this my main display. So, if you're here, I can press on this, and it makes that my main display. It makes display one my main display so now my main display is over to my left which is where I have my OBS but I don't want that because then all your games are gonna pop up on there so I'm gonna click on that again on monitor 2 and it'll make monitor 2 my main display and boom I have my main display stuff down here and yeah that's that um, second of all what you're gonna want to do you're gonna want to right click click on Nvidia control panel And, um, yeah, your monitor's probably gonna be on, like, native res. You're gonna probably have it, like, applied on native res. So, let's say it's higher refresh rate. If you have 60 hertz, it's fine. If you have 75 hertz, you're gonna wanna go down here and you know, to the PC settings and click on that. I don't have 75 hertz. I have 165 hertz panel, so I click on 165 hertz. Um, there we go. My monitor came back. And, um, I don't recommend overclocking a higher refresh rate monitor past the cap that it says it can be overclocked to. Like, my monitor, it's a 144Hz panel, but it can be overclocked to 165. For instance, I could run 240 on it if I wanted to, because this is perfectly doable. Click apply, wait a couple of seconds, and, yep, now we're running at 240Hz. But, that is really bad for the panel if you overclock the, the high refresh rate monitor more on top of that. But, um, yeah, so if you have 60 hertz or 75 hertz, go ahead and try overclocking to 75 or 90 hertz. And, uh, yeah, so now your monitor's set up, you should be able to run everything. Um, yeah. What you're gonna want to do now, this isn't the right thing, you're gonna want to go to manage 3D settings, I believe, yes. This is it, you're gonna want to make sure your max frame rate's off. Um, if you prefer to use the NVIDIA thing, which I don't because I cap my FPS in-game, even though it induces slightly more stuttering, um, I do enough FPS tests where I think that, um, because no matter what you cap it at, if you have it capped at 144 in NVIDIA, NVIDIA is going to override it. So I don't cap it in NVIDIA, I cap it in the game directly. So that's why I don't do that. But, um, if you're not going to be doing FPS tests or anything, click on on and then make the maximum FPS like mine. 
is my monitor is 165 hertz so i do um 165 um or i could do 166 if i wanted to i don't even know what just happened but uh yeah so i'm gonna turn that off right now you're gonna want yeah and depending on what settings you want to play on these are all personal preference really so uh yeah however your OpenGL rendering gpu should be your dedicated graphics card um so yeah make sure that's a thing and uh so yeah we are running at 60 hertz for some reason no nope, we're running at 240 never mind i was getting some artifacting meaning i was overworking my panel there we go that looks better but um yeah and that's pretty much how you set up a monitor with a laptop if you guys have any problems comment down below um and i will try and help you guys out and resolve them and uh yeah that's pretty much it for today thank you guys for watching and instead of doing a stream like i had said i would do earlier i just decided to do this because i've gotten enough requests to do this and uh yeah leave a like and subscribe please um if you know something that i missed comment it down below so that people can um see and uh yeah without further ado guys i'm out peace